You know, when you start building a church, it's like starting to build like, um, I don't know because I can't draw. <laughs> but I mean like, you know how you start like building a sandcastle? And I mean, you know, you, you, you do what you can, you put buckets where they go and you know, you use every tool you got. And you dig up sand and the whole time you're hoping everything just don't come and wash it away, right? Like, <laughs> like, it, like tomorrow it could just all be. This is what you think when you're building a church. But usually you build it not sort of having an end in mind, right? Like having a, you just start building, right? When God gives you a vision, he sort of gives you what the, what the end's gonna look like. Not, not maybe like physically, but spiritually. This looks like that. This looks like that. The day we set out to do this, I saw this. And I'm grateful for that, man. I'm grateful for that. It could have turned into anything. It could have got washed away. And I'm so grateful that I saw y'all. And I saw clocks on red. And I saw skilled minstrels. Gifted minstrels. And I saw a place where God could just do whatever he wanted to do, whenever he wanted to do, and cancel the whole thing and say, I'm just going to just sing. Y'all, y'all, y'all made me proud. I'm a proud pastor. We love you. I love you. <sighs> now I'm going to help you. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. I'm just going to read the beginning of this. <clears throat> the end of a matter is better than the beginning. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. Now help me help them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. High five three people and say it's about to get better. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, uh, thank you guys for being at God Chasers today. Thank you so much for, for, for being a part of this experience. If this is your first time, uh, I would apologize, but it's sort of like, kind of like this all the time. You know, we, we plan the best we can. Trust me. It's a whole plan to get you guys out of here in 90 minutes. That almost never works. But uh, we try. <laughs> uh, there's a little boy named Joshua. A little boy named Joshua, and Joshua went to his grandfather, and he said, he said, Grandpappy. I assume, Grandpappy, that sounds right. He said, Grandpappy, can you read me a story? And the grandfather starts to uh, do what he normally does. He picks Joshua up and he takes him and they sit down on a big, uh, you know, a big recliner, or Burke lounge or whatever you want to call it. You know, they sit down on there. He puts Joshua across his lap. He starts to read the book, whatever the book is. Joshua reaches up and he grabs grandfather's chin and his face. He's noticing the, the, the wrinkles and the age and the time on grandfather. And he, he, he touches his own face. He reaches up again and he touches grandpappy's face. He reaches back and he touches his own face. He reaches up for a third time. He, 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 he literally moves his hand all around grandfather's face. Then he takes his hand and he grabs it around his own face. <laughs> he looks up again and he says, Grandpappy, did God make you? Grandpappy says, yes, of course, Joshua. God made me, yes. He said, okay, okay. God made you. But grandpappy, did God make me? And the grandpappy says, yes, Joshua, of course. God made me. He made your dad. And then he made you. Yes. Joshua put his hand back on his face again, looked at his grandfather and said, God's getting better. 
Today I want to talk to you about better. <laughs> but I cannot talk to you about better if we don't start at a place of good. You see, better is the continuation of good. It is actually the next dimensional, the next level or the next dimension of good. It flows from good. And you cannot have better if you don't have good. Y'all with me so far? You cannot have better if you don't have good. Better, good, excuse me, is the beginning. It is the initiation of better. Somebody say better. You can only get to better from a place of good. You got to start at a place of good and, and then you go from good to better. Now, I want to help you here because I need you to understand something. God builds better on good. It's very important that you understand this. God builds better on good. I'm going to help you today. I'm going to help you today. God builds better on good. So he starts from a place of good, and then he builds better from it. Now, see, see. so this is a, a lot of times the problem with us. We don't know how to properly define good. You've looked at your life, your circumstances, your situations, your 2018, the first week of your 2019. And you've already called it something it's not. So God, in his infinite wisdom, creates the heavens and the earth. We, we, we can just start right there. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and, wo and, the, and, and darkness moved upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the surface of the waters. And then God said, let there be light. Are y'all with me so far? Yeah. Okay, y'all read that before, right? Okay, beautiful. If you haven't, like, pray go, it's in there. So you got to go back and read it again for yourself. Okay, so, so, so God, God walks, God created the heavens and the earth, and then he looked at the heavens and the earth, and he said it was without form and void. Somebody say, without form and void. What's the Hebrew word for without form and void? Tohu vavohu. Come on, y'all know this. Somebody say tohu, tohu. vavohu. See, you can go to Starbucks now and act like you know Hebrew. You can just be like, yeah. I was studying uh, tohu, vavohu. <laughs> Out of Genesis chapter one. And tohu, vavohu simply means this, without form and void. Without form and void. Without form and void. God never said it was bad. He said it was without form and void. Some of y'all have looked at your life and you've declared it bad. It's not bad. It's without form. You've looked at your situation and you called it bad. It's not bad. It's without form and void. You've looked at your relationship, oh Jesus, and you've called it bad. It's not bad. It's tohu. So God walks up on this situation, that's tohu vavohu, and he speaks to the situation. He says, let there be light. I, 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 I'm going to give you my punchline early. Sometimes you just have to start speaking to your situation. It's really not as bad as it looks, and if you learn how to speak to it, oh, Lord Jesus, if you learn how to speak. See, a lot of you, oh, Jesus, this is not in my notes, but I got to help you with this. We, we, we study, we study, um, oh, I don't have time to explain this. We study Adam and Eve. And we say, Eve talked to the serpent, and then she ate the fruit, and then she gave it to Adam and he ate the fruit. But my problem with this study is that we look at it from a, 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 from a messed up lens. Because we say that Adam, where was Adam when Eve was talking to the serpent? The Bible says he was with her. See, oftentimes the problem in our families, in our lives, in our relationship is not our absence, it's our silence. You right there, but you ain't said nothing. Your financial situation going down the drain, you ain't said nothing. Your, your relationship going down the drain, you ain't said nothing. Your kids do whatever the heck, uh, heck, heck they want to do, and you ain't said 
Your failure is not your absence, it's your silence. God walked up to the middle of absence and he spoke. He said, let there be and there Oh, man, that's so good, right? He said, let there be. Y'all get this because he keeps doing this over and over. He says, let there be, and there was. Let there be, and there was. And what have you said let there be to? How about just starting with your happiness? Let there be happiness in 2019. And there, come on, man. Come on. So, so, so this is the thing about God. God walks up to a thing that's empty, that's formless, that's void, and he doesn't call it bad. You would call it bad. You would walk away from it. You would say, no, 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 there's nothing else I can do here. There's nothing else I can do in this relation. No, 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 no. There's nothing else I can do with these kids. And God says, you, you need to say something. Look at your neighbor and just say, just say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. So, so God always builds on what already exists. We talked about this last Sunday. I, 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 I can't go back there because, Jesus, last Sunday was something else. Okay. Um, but, we, but, uh, but now that we're taking a step, right, we're going forward. I need you to understand something. God always talks, he always builds on what he, excuse me, he always feels what he builds. He, he continues building on what he's already started building. Remember we said God is, he does arithmetic. He continues to build on what you already learned. Does that make sense? So on day one, we, we talked about this a little bit, but on day one, God created the light. On day four, he created the sun. Y'all didn't know that, huh? You thought the sun was the light. The truth is, the sun is the light, but it's the wrong sun. You got the wrong sun in there. He said, I am the light of the... You thought that was the S-U-N, but that's the S-O-N. Okay. Anyway, so, so on day two, he creates the atmosphere, the, the, the atmosphere that you live to breathe in. In fact, in, he said he separates the waters from the waters, the waters above from the waters beneath. And, and we live in, in between the waters, right? In between the atmosphere. But in, in, in day, on day five, he creates the fish that swim in the waters below and the birds that swim in the waters above. Are y'all with me still? He's building on something. It's not a one-shot deal. It's not we had two arguments, we got married last month, and I need a divorce. I don't know why I'm talking about marriage. I just feel maybe I'm helping somebody in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, God said, I'm building on something. I'm building on something. And the Bible says that everything he built on, he looked at and saw that it was are y'all with me today? Okay, so you saw that it was good. He, he said he starts to build on these things. On, on day three, he builds the uh, he built he 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 puts the expanse in the middle of the waters. This is the land we stand on, right? He put the expanse in the middle of the waters. He puts the ground in the middle of the waters, and then on day six, he starts to create things that go on the ground. So on one day he builds, the next day he fills. Does that make sense? Okay, he builds on one day, he fills on another day. Okay, okay, and then God is looking at all these things and he's saying, good, good, lights, good, expanse, uh, good, atmosphere, good, waters, great, everything, the, the creeping things, good. <laughs> the, uh, the <laughs> Some of y'all heard this before, huh? So, <laughs> All the creeping things, good. Everything's crawling on the ground. That's all good. A rabbit runs up. Dude, that's good. Tyrannosaurus Rex, all good. <laughs> then, get this. Everything that God said to this point, he said it and then it happened. Then God something, he does something weird on day six, Kevin. He takes a break from what he was normally doing and he said, let us make man in our own image. Let us, number one, who is us? Oh, somebody's yelled out Elohim. Come on, TC3 University. Okay, so number one, who is us? If you want to know who that is, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about it on the 16th. You can be here. Okay, number two, y'all going to be Googling who is us? Who's God talking to? Who's, 
Let us make men in our own image and own likeness. Everything else he said, let there be and there was. Let there be and there was. When he started thinking about Tabitha, oh, let me just, he pondered. I like that. I appreciate that. No, but when he started, well, really, when he started looking at, when he started to make Adam, when he started to make Adam, he pondered. He said, hmm. He broke his, he, he broke his rhythm from the things that he was already doing. I'm going to help you right now. Because you are not just a fling between your mama and your daddy. You are a well thought out idea. Conversed about between the creators of the universe. They all sat around and said, let us, let us, oh Lord Jesus Christ. So, 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 then he, he, he makes this man, just sit, sit down, y'all making me nervous. So, then he makes this man, he makes this man, and he calls, he, he, he looks at this man, and he takes a break, again. Now, everything else Pastor Ravon, he made, good. Right, sun, moon, and stars, good. Birds and fish, good. Tyrannosaurus Rex, good. Dogs and cats, good. Pastor Ravon. Hmm. The Bible says he looks at the man. The Bible says he looked at the man and said, hmm. I gotta suppose like the man is, you know, he, this is just my spiritual imagination. This is a little commercial. You know, I, I got to suppose that the man's got a comp quad or something. He butt naked in the garden. He running around. 243. 243. Huh? He by himself. Y'all don't know what we do when we home alone. Okay, anyway. God looks at that man. He had to be doing something stupid because God said, hmm. <laughs> Everything to this point, good. Get to this dude. It's not good. Everything else he called good. He looked at that dude. He said, it's not good. That man should be alone. <laughs> he needs some help. That's exactly what he said. I'll make him a helper. I will make him a helper. Sometimes the wives just go home and look at your husband and just say, hmm. <laughs> the reason he all messed up because you're not helping him. Okay, so, so get this, get this. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm still teaching though. I'm still teaching. I'm still teaching. So he gets to he gets to the man. He gets to the man. He calls everything before the man. Good. He gets to the man. He says it's not good for man to be alone. I will make a help her, help meet, help her. She's supposed to help him. She's not supposed to confront him. Oh Lord. She's not supposed to fight him. She's supposed to help him. Amen. She's supposed to. Oh, okay. This is not a marriage conference. I'm gonna help you right here. So, 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 so he says it's not good. Now, before we go deeper in this, I want you to understand something. This is my first real point. You can write this down. That was all, was all my introduction. Let me help you with this. No one can define your better who hasn't had a glimpse of what it looked like before now. No one can tell you what's not good who has not had a glimpse into what your life looked like before this moment. Now, I need you to understand that because this will help you right here because you, you, you can get rid of people's judgments and people's assessments about your life because they haven't had the perspective. Oh, Jesus. They haven't had the perspective that you've had about your own life. Does that make sense? So somebody can, they can try to tell you what you're not, but the truth is they don't know what you used to be. So you are much better. You don't know who I used to be. So I'm much better than. The only person who can define your better is somebody who saw you. Does that make sense? So, 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 so God is qualified to deal with Adam about his better, but the people you listening to are not. 
Does that make sense? God took some time. He made Adam completely. The, the Bible says he was alone, but the, the, the true definition of that is all one. He was all one, all one by himself. He didn't need anything. He was all one, but he need, he, the only thing he needed was help. Stop letting people define you who haven't seen your story. That's it. That'll, that'll help you right now. That, that'll help you. Because a lot of times you let Instagram and Facebook tell you who you should be. But Instagram and Facebook only been around for about eight years. They don't know what your life was like. Even, even Facebook is new. It don't know what you went through. To, you, you, you had burnt the whole thing down by 2008. That's when Facebook showed up. They don't know what you've been through. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Do y'all get what I'm saying? So, so, so no one can define your better who hasn't had a glimpse into what it looked like before now. Now, this is the beautiful part. No, no one can define your best who hasn't had a glimpse into your potential. Okay, now, now I need you y'all to get this part. I'm still teaching. I, I'll, I'll shout in a minute. Okay, so I need you to understand this part. You can't call something bad because bad doesn't flow to good. Bad flows to worse. And worse flows to worser. No. <laughs> Worst. Okay. <laughs> bad. Worse. Worser. <laughs> Somebody, I just described your whole life. Bad, worse, worser. Bad does not flow to good. Good flows to better. So that's why you got to learn how to call a thing good if you want to see it better. Okay, okay, okay. So good flows good, better, best is. <laughs> inside joke but it was so funny okay good better best are y'all with me okay so what i need you to do is check your flow check your flow check your flow check the people around you flow if everything's bad it's only getting worse if everything's good it's only getting all right, that's all that's all i want to say today if everything's bad it's only getting worse but if everything's good, it's only getting better. That's why God said all things are working together for your... Somebody should be shouting already. Because even the bad things, don't call them bad. Even the bad things, you can't call them bad. You got to call them good because you know they're working together. Paul said it was good that I was afflicted. I'm happy that you don't like me because it made me stronger. I'm happy that you talked about me because it made me better. I'm happy that you... I'm flowing from good. So look at somebody and say, I'm flowing, girl. I'm flowing. Even if it's a guy, just, I'm flowing, girl. So... So you got to have the proper perspective about your life. When you have the proper perspective, then you know that even though it doesn't feel good, it's working for my good. Just touch us and say, it's working for my, it's working for my good. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Let me explain something to y'all real quick. Some of y'all might know this and understand this already. But remember we talked about let that be life. Then God, then God created the sun three days later. Okay. God created the sun, moon, and stars. I'm going to talk about the moon for a second. Can we talk about the moon? The moon is a rock. I'll be here all week. The moon is a rock. Have you ever seen the moon at night? It's bright. It'll light up the whole, the whole expanse. But the moon has no light of its own. There is literally no light coming from the moon. The reason you see light from the moon is because the moon sees what you can't. Are y'all with me? The reason you see light on the moon is because the moon is reflecting the light from the sun. 
You think the sun is gone, but the sun's not gone. It's just dark for you. What I'm asking in this season, in 2019, are some moon people to step up. Because even though they can't see the light, I can... Even though you I love this, that the earth, when it's dark on the earth, is because the earth itself has gotten its own way from its view of the sun. Boy, I'm preaching better than y'all shouting. This is what happens with us, Miss Jody. We get in our own way. It's dark to me because I'm in my own way. If you're going to live better in 2019, you're going to have to get out your way. Get out, get out your own way. All that fear, all that telling yourself you're not cute, all that telling yourself what everybody else been talking about you since you was in the eighth grade, and you took it, and you took it, and you took it. God said you're going to have to get out your own way if you're ever going to see the S-O-N. But the moon people, whenever it's, a, whenever it's a half moon, it's because half the moon sees the sun. When it's a quarter of the moon, it's because just a quarter of the moon sees the sun. When it's a full moon, it's because the whole moon sees the sun. Who, who's the moon in your life? Who's somebody who has perspective? In 20, in 20, listen, in 2019, you're going to need some moon people in your life. You're going to need some people who have a perspective about the sun that you don't have. I'm trying to help you right here. Uh, 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 listen, uh, I, I, I want you to understand that. You need to be able to call somebody and talk to somebody who can tell you, no, no, girl, it's light over here. Okay, all right. It's, look at somebody and say, it's going to get better. You need some people who are going to help you see better. Okay, okay, okay. So get this. God looks at Adam. And says it's not good. I'm almost done. God looks at Adam and says it's not good. It's not good that man be alone. So I'm going to create a helper for him. Somebody say a helper. helper. Now get this. This Oh, this blew me over. I said, Lord, help me with this. The, the word better is not in the Bible. We just read Ecclesiastes, Pastor Dante. It said better. The end of a thing is better than the beginning. But you know what word that is transliterated? Good. The word better itself is not in the Bible. The word, the word that we use for better, tov, T-O-W-B, tov. Yeah, I'm helping y'all with the Hebrew today. T-O-W-B, that, that is the word for good. And God saw that it was tov. Are y'all with me? Okay, so, when, so I asked God, I said, Lord, what? How do I, how do I, you told me better. I know I heard better. He said, yeah, I told you better. I said, now how do I define that to the people? Because I'm reading through the Bible and the word better not even in the Bible. He said, yes, it is. I said, where? He, every time I look up better, it says toes. He said, better is not different from good. It's a different perspective of good. Listen to me, you're going to have to have a different perspective about your life, about your situation, about your circumstance. You're going to have to have a different perspective about how you feel about you. When you get a different perspective about how you feel about you, your toes, good, turns into toes, better. When you get a different idea about who you are and about what God wants to do in your life. You see, God stands at the beginning of a thing, but he looks at the end and he sets the whole thing up from beginning to end. And if he knows your end and he's happy about your end, then you need to stop worrying about your end and start thinking about your feet. Oh. Because God said, whatever your circumstance is, I'm going to make it better. Somebody say better. So, 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 so I said, okay, God, help me understand this deeper. He says, okay, look at Adam. I said, okay. He says, with Adam, I, I made everything and I called it good. I made Adam and I said it was not good. I said, but yeah, but then you made Eve and you called it very good. He said, yeah, yeah, that's what he says, Eve, just very good. <laughs> Adam, not good. Adam and Eve, very good. Okay, so, 
So he says, he says, okay, you need to understand something. Everything I make is good. If it ain't good, I ain't finished. He said, everything I create is good. And if it's not good, I ain't finished. Some of y'all should have got so happy about that because you've been looking at your life as bad, but really it's not bad. It's not good, but God's not finished. And God said, I'm still working on you. I'm still working some things out of you. And in 2019, this is the year where I'm going to take tove good to tove better. I'm going to take your life from good to better in 2019 if you can receive that I'm not done. That I'm not done. That I'm not done. That the sun won't go down. The sun won't go down. Oh, hear me right here. The sun won't go down until God finishes the work. That he who began a good work in you is faithful to perform it. I need you to hear me right here. Because some of y'all, you have, you have even given up on making resolutions. And I'm fine with that because it don't matter anyway if you don't keep them. But the reason you've done that is because you've, you've, you've settled with not good. When God said there's still work to do. There's still work to do. I don't want you to make a resolution. I want you to resolve some things. I don't want you to make a resolution. I want you to just make up in your mind you won't get hurt no more. I want you to make up in your mind you won't get treated like that no more. I want you to make up in your mind that no man can't hit you. I want you to make up in your mind that you're going to have a better job, that you're going to take better care of your kids, that you're going to take better care of your, of your, of your house. Oh, Jesus. Tove. <laughs> this is, if I don't close this, I'll, ooh, okay. Help me, Kevin. <laughs> Tove in Hebrew. In Hebrew, there are no vowels. We put vowels in so that we can, uh, um, so that we can articulate the words, the language. But in Hebrew, Hebrew is just pictures. Are y'all with me? So tov in Hebrew is T B, T B, tov bet, tov bet. Okay, okay. I know this is deeper than y'all want to go, but I need you to understand something. Tov, the picture of tov. I'll have it for y'all next week. The picture of tov in Hebrew is a staff. It's a staff. Staffs represent fatherhood. It represents leadership in your life. It's re it, re it represents fatherhood in your life. Tov, remember, tov means good. T for tov, T-O, and bet, B-E-I-T, which is re really just B-T, right? That's, that's, that's the second part of good. T-T-B spells good. Are y'all with me so far? B is a basket. T is a staff, represents fatherhood. B is a basket. Let me, hear, let me help you right here. God said, I'm about to start fathering over your baskets. I'm going to start. This is what better looks like for you in 2019. I'm going to start fathering over your baskets. Listen, man, if you're the man of the house, you're supposed to, you, you're supposed to father over the basket. Let's say the house is a basket. Your job is to staff, to lead that basket. Are y'all with me? God said, I'm about to start making some things tove in your life some of y'all you could do with a little bit of tove 2018 was hell you could testify but here it is right here if you don't change nothing nothing's gonna change god said i'm about to start shepherding y'all leave that man that's good thank you i'm gonna bring a mop on the stage start a mop I'm here preaching, man. Thank y'all, man. Stewards. Stewards. Can y'all give it up for the stewards, man? I thought the Sandman was coming. Listen. Listen, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Listen. Oh, I got time. Turn your Bibles to Listen, 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 listen. Listen. <laughs> Y'all stop playing. We trying to, I'm trying to help us in 2019. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. God said, I'm about to do better. I'm about to do better. So this is three points. Real quick, I'm going to give you three points, and then I'm done. 
Three points. The first thing you got to do in 2019 is expect better. If you don't expect better, you're not going to have better. If, you're not, if you don't expect anything to happen, it's not going to happen. You got to raise your expectation. The atmosphere of expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. Y'all get that? The atmosphere of expectation, but you got to have an expectation. Okay? Okay. So you got to expect better. If you want to see better, you got to expect better. Does that make sense? Number two, y'all ready for this? If you want to see better in 2019, you got to speak better. This, this goes back to my point. You can't, call, you can't call a thing bad. Don't call it bad. Yeah. Say God, God is good and God's going to make it better. Yeah. It's good and God's going to make it better. You got to learn how to, the Bible says, to speak to those things that are not as though they. Everybody relax. A lot of extra stuff happening right now. <laughs> speak to those things that are not, that are not as though they. Word. What are you speaking to about your life, about your family, about your kids? Listen, stop calling them bad because the only progression from bad is to start calling them good. Surprise them. They're going to look up like me. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I saw one little kid that goes here. Like I saw his face. You call him good, he gonna be like, me? I'll take, I ain't gonna tell y'all what his name is, but I know some of y'all already got it in your heads right there. Me? Good? Okay. PD called me good today. <laughs> ain't nobody, na- okay, all right. So, you gotta start speaking to the thing. You call it what it shall be. Remember, remember, it is what you call it, right? Do y'all remember this? Does this stuff help y'all, man? It is what you call it. God brought every single animal to Adam to see what he would call it. It was not that until he called it that. This is still true right now. If you find a new animal right now, you get to name it. So if you can name a Tyrannosaurus Rex, how come you can't name your kids good? You can, how come you can't name your future secure? How come you can't speak to your 401k? Oh, Lord, have mercy. How come you can't speak to your bank account? Shoot. Adam, the last thing Adam ever named, they brought it to him. He said, wow, man. That's it. That's her name. Woman. Done. Woman. That's, tell me, y'all, it took y'all so long to get that. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. We'll tell you later. Okay. Speak to it. Okay. Here's the last one. Here's the last one. Y'all ready for it? Y'all ready for it? First, I said what? Expect better. Number two? Okay. Okay. Remember, your words build your world. Right? That's to speak better. Your words build your world. If you want to see it, you got to speak it first. Okay? What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the Greek word for speak? Lego. Oh, I love my church. Yes. The Greek word for speak is what? Lego. This is how you build your world. You you build it one Lego at a time. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. The final final point. I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, The final point is this. Get this. You want to, you want to, excuse me. If you want to see better, you got to expect better. If you want to see better, you got to speak better. The last point is this. You got to inspect what you expect. The Bible said that when God walked up on nothing, he, he expected there to be something. He walked up on nothing. He expected there to be something. So he called out something. He spoke to it. But then after he spoke to it, what did he do? He saw it was good. Thank y'all. It's some good, it's some good church going people in here. He saw it was good. He saw it was good. Listen, listen, I'm going to help you out right here. If it's not, if it wasn't good in 2018, it's probably not good in 2019. If it wasn't good for you in 2018, it ain't just gonna become good for you in 2019. Inspect what you expect. If you want it to be good, you're gonna have to inspect it. 
I'm talking about you and your life and your situation and your stuff. What is this getting you? What is your bad attitude getting? Okay. What is what is what are your bad habits getting you? What are they what do they win? Sometimes this is what I love about this church because I can be super practical with y'all. What does it get you? I don't want to be uber spirit. What does it get you? If you've been living all these 30 more years and doing all the foolishness you've been doing and your life is great, stop coming here. Stop asking for my advice. But if you said, no, 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 I got some things I need to fix. I got some things I need to change. If you, if you, if you created something and then you looked at it and it said, hmm. You still got work to do. And in 2019, I want you to do your work. I want you to do your work. Amen? Amen. So I want, you to, I want you to expect it. I want you to speak to it. And then I want you to inspect it. Does that make sense? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to really start this series next week when it comes to, uh, we're going to be talking about Joseph and the life of Joseph. And the problem with Joseph is you'll look at his life and say, man, his life was messed up. But the end of the thing it's better than the beginning of the thing. Some of y'all done came to this place. Hear me right here. Y'all done came to this situation. You, you came to this, this space, this Red Sea in your life. And you don't know what it's going to look like. But I'm telling you now that whatever you step into is going to be better than where you came from. Whatever you step, to, step into in God is always, always, always going to be better so I'm looking forward to better I'm looking forward to better with you I'm looking forward to a better year with you I'm looking forward to, to, to helping all of us to evade some things to, to watch out for some things but w w what I'm really most looking forward to is to seeing you look at a thing and say nope I'm not finished no I, I do need to read my Bible more not as a resolution just as a resolvement Yes, I do need to pray more. Not as a resolution, just as I resolve to do this. Because I believe that God's going to make us all better. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. Lord, I, I, I told them everything you told me to tell them. Now I ask that their lives get better, Lord Jesus. Lord, I, 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 I'm asking you to be the staff that protects our basket today, Lord Jesus. I'm asking you to be the father over, over everything we carry, Lord Jesus. And I'm praying, God, I'm praying that some people really are going to turn around for the better. They're going to look back at 2019 and say, that was the year when everything changed. Lord, we love you. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins. Come into my heart. Change my heart. Come into my life change my life father today i accept you as my lord and savior in jesus name i pray amen and amen can you stand to your feet and just give god a praise if you know your life's getting better if you know your circumstances getting better if you know your god is working it out for your good come on come on come on for about 30 more seconds let's just give him all the praise we can give him come on come on Y'all look good.